beautiful leaves outside. Look at all these gorgeous ones I found on the Merrill High property. Some green, some big, some small, red, brown, yellow. All kinds of neat leaves from the cool trees in our area. I have two projects for you this week. The first one is simply a colorful leaf rubbing. To do a leaf rubbing, you just need a piece of paper. I've used some white construction paper. And turn your leaves with the smooth side facing the table and the rough, veiny side facing up. Lay your, leaf, your paper on top and take peeled crayons, or I have craft sticks. We've used these in kindergarten and first grade, but peeled crayons work just fine. Take your non-crayon hand and press both the leaf and the paper down, and then slide your crayon across the top. Now these crayons or craft sticks are very lazy. They lay down, so we're not coloring in this activity. We are pushing our crayon or craft stick around flat on the paper. First thing I try to do is find my center of my leaf. So I found that center right there. And then I'm gonna go to one side. I put my craft stick parallel to that center and push out. And then I try to find the edge of my leaf. There's my edge. Then I'm going to creep this hand over without pulling it all up at the same time, holding my leaf in place underneath. And I do the same thing on this side, parallel to that stem in the center and find the edge of my leaf. Work through pushing hard to find all of those beautiful veins. And there's my first leaf. I'm done with that and I can share that with another person in my family. And I'm going to pop under a different shaped leaf. It's okay that that guy is missing a few of his a few of his parts there, and I'm gonna pick a different color. Hold my leaf and my paper, find the middle of my leaf, and then work out from the middle. I think this is the middle right here. Sorry that my hand's in the way. Reveal all of these cool veins going all the way to the edge. There's that broken one. That's okay, it looks kinda cool my hand to this side and work on this side closer to the camera revealing all the parts of my leaf beautiful job and I would keep working on this collage of leaves this is a really soft leaf from a shrub popping in new beautiful colors to be a little more gentle with a soft leaf And even small leaves can make beautiful patterns. Here's a small leaf. Maybe I'm gonna put on some yellow. In fact, I like that yellow. But I'm gonna give this leaf two tones, add some green to it. If I don't lift my hand up holding it down, I can add more than one color. So I hope you have fun with that leaf project making a colorful leaf collage. Peeled crayons or craft sticks. Craft sticks are available from Crayola. Let's see if you can see it on any of these. They're a Crayola product. They're a little bit harder than a crayon, a little bit softer than a colored pencil. My second activity for you to do, revealing these gorgeous leaves, is to do a rubbing with an actual crayon, and this time I want you to use black. So I've peeled some broken black crayons. I feel a leaf there. Holding it still with my hand, and I feel a leaf here. Find the middle, go out from the middle. Ooh, this table has been a squeak. Beautiful. I love revealing the leaves. It's such an exciting thing to watch them come out. This is a gorgeous oak leaf from the trees out by the high school gym. I have some hickory leaves here from over on that end of campus, and these unusual maple leaves are from the 
part of campus near McDonald's. I had a really nice time going out on a leaf hunt. I hope you'll take a walk with your family in your neighborhood and go on a leaf hunt. Look at that gorgeous leaf. Okay, in this activity, we're gonna take this black and white, and that would be beautiful just by itself. You could hang a leaf collage just like that. But my idea for you is to do some water coloring. So these are similar to what you might have at home. I'm just gonna take two brushes today and some water, and I'm gonna activate my watercolors. So I'm going to put a little water in my cool colors and my warm colors. I've got yellows and oranges and reds. And then for my warm colors, I'm doing today blues and greens. That's it. Okay, blues, greens, perfect. So activating your colors is you, you kind of hang your brush over it and let a little water drip in. That's it. Then, I, when I go back, the color is ready for me. We are gonna do a very light and sloppy painting of our leaves. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of orange on each of these leaves. Maybe a little bit on that side. Very thin, very light, and very sloppy. I'm not even really holding the paper. Just a little bit on each leaf. Maybe a little red. Look at when they mix together, it's making red-orange. This is a darker red. Maybe it's darker down here on this part. Pull a little bit over there. So this leaf is red and red-orange. I'm going to rinse out a little bit and I'm pulling yellow. And I'm going to make this one kind of a yellow-orange. Whoops, too much. <clears throat> no worries. We'll just get a little bit of that off. And this guy I'm going to add a little yellow to also. Just a splash of yellow here and there. Very sloppy, isn't it? There we go. A little yellow up there. Gorgeous. The background of my art will be all the cool colors that I activated. So I'll put a little green, maybe some darker green over here, maybe some blue green over here. And then I'm going to go into my blues and spread those out. And I'm really being very sloppy, very watery. There's some blue green and I'll mix in as I come around. See the wateriness of it. So this is gonna take a little while to dry. All right, and adding some blues over here and blue greens in those spaces where the leaves are not. I hope you'll enjoy this watercolor leaf rubbing with warm and cool watercolors and the colorful leaf coloring we did with our craft sticks or peeled crayons. These are a gorgeous way to celebrate the trees in your area and your artistic talents.